You know how to use your foot? Then you're good to go. You use your anger foot for everything in this game. Kick doors, kick enemies, and stroke your girlfriend's hair. No. Your goal is to finish the levels as fast as possible. One mistake and you go back to the beginning. The demo reminded me of Hotline Miami, also because of the difficulty level. You do get a gun in this game. They're exploding barrels. And you can even kick doors into your enemy's face to knock them down instantly. Still, it's a challenge. And a fun one. Louder. Just select what you're happy with and yes, I'm going to keep talking until you've made your choice. Back firewall can be compared with games like The Stanley Parable or Inscription in a sense that you're never quite sure where it's leading to. The plot is that you are the update assistant inside a smartphone, but you need to counter the updates because the previous operating system doesn't want to get deleted. In the demo, there are jokes everywhere. Please gather your congratulation prices. Please move forward to resume the loading. And you need to solve some puzzles, which were a bit tricky at times, because you need to memorize all the available gameplay mechanics. The game only explains them once. I, for instance, forgot that you can use backspace to delete stuff. Remember that if you're gonna play the demo. I'm from Bavaria, so of course I had to play this. You're trying to produce some great beers in your own house. In the demo you choose a job, which kind of beer you want to make. You go to your kitchen, yeah, and then, well, <laughs> find out what the hell you're supposed to do. Once I figured out how to display the different brewing steps, I just had to read carefully what equipment I need to look for how much from what and how hot I need to cook it. Sometimes I needed to skip ahead and ta-da, there's my beer. Uh, ah, I forgot to open this. Ta-da, here's my beer. I really like this, especially because supposedly the chemistry is real and you even get some infos and definitions about certain things. So you're actually learning something here. I was very skeptical about this one, but... This really looks and sounds awesome. Like in old Doom fashion, you go from one arena to the next and shoot lots of monsters from hell. And if you damage them enough, you can initiate a finisher to get some health back. The twist here is that you're supposed to shoot and slice on the beat do more damage and increase your fury meter, which, if increased enough, unlocks more of the song you hear. At maximum, the vocals kick in. You hear singers from metal bands like System of a Down or Dark Tranquility, so the music is definitely great. And mixing that with Doom-like mechanics was really fun to play. I just hope that in the finish game there are either more enemy types or less arenas to go through, because it felt a bit repetitive at the end. But otherwise, this would rock. This is a nice little puzzle game, which really gets you hooked. You gotta build railways and fix connections so that each carriage reaches the engine and in the correct order. The first few levels in the demo were quite simple, but as I tried one of the special levels, I was kinda scratching my head. So I guess this game can get quite complicated. I like the simple art style, the sweet music, and although it can be challenging, this could be a great game to relax at the same time.